Hi there, this is Dave from PC Games N, and today we're going to be talking about Nvidia's latest graphics card, the GTX 1060. It's the new mid-range Pascal card, and it's the successor to the 1080 and 1070. So Nvidia are claiming that the new GTX 1060 is going to be significantly faster and should be cheaper than the GTX 980. The GTX 1060 is using the same design notes as Nvidia have used with the other Pascal cards in the range, um, but this time around we're not using a metal shroud, we've gone for a full plastic one to keep the costs down. With the GTX 1060 we're looking at a brand new GPU, um, which is the GP106, using the same Pascal architecture that Nvidia have been using with the 1070 and 1080, but with essentially half the processor. To that end it's still a 16 nanometer FinFET design and packing in 1280 CUDA cores. Just for reference the 1070 is running at 1920 CUDA cores and the 1080 with 2560 of them. Nvidia say that the GTX 1060 is actually running with the full GP106 core so there's nothing chopped out in there this is the full Monty. Um, which does lead us to believe that there's going to be a 1050 coming along using this same processor, but with a few bits chopped off. For the GTX 1060, Nvidia have clocked the reference chip at 1.7 GHz, along with the 1070 and 1080, which should be looking at a pretty decent overclocking chip as well. In terms of the memory configuration, we're looking at GDDR5 again, um, not the X variant that they've been using in the 1080. There was a rumour um, that Nvidia were going to be launching two variants of the card, a 3GB version and a 6GB version, but thankfully we're just going to be seeing a 6GB version to start with, and hopefully that's all we're going to be seeing. The 3GB version doesn't really do anybody any favours, especially moving beyond 1080p. Nvidia have dropped the power draw again for the 1060. Um, we're only hitting 120 watts as a full TDP on the 1060. Compare that with 150 watts of the RX 480 and the GTX 1070. There's also the fact that the GTX 980 that it's actually beating runs at 165 watts and you can see the actual efficiency gains that they're getting from the 16 nanometer technology. So as you can see from the board itself, you only need a single six pin power connector coming from your power supply. In terms of the port structure on the back, um, Nvidia are matching the existing Pascal designs. So there's three display port connectors, single HDMI connector, as well as a DVI connector. Now with these mid-range cards, having the DVI connector is, makes complete sense. And it's something that AMD missed out with their RX 480. At this price point of graphics card, not all the monitors are gonna be running with full HDMI or full DisplayPort connectors. So having a DVI connector on there is, is a pretty good bet. So as you can see from the back of the card, the actual PCB itself is really quite small. You can see where they've added on an extra chunk for the fan itself. Hopefully that should mean that very soon we'll be getting some really nice small form factor designs for the 1060 coming through from the partners. So there is one thing that's missing from the GTX 1060 and that's the SLI connections. As you can see from the top of the board here we've got no connector for SLI and that's because Nvidia have disabled it for the 1060. Now they claim that at this price point people aren't looking to SLI their graphics cards, they're more interested in SLIing the big cars like the 1070 and the 1080 to get really serious high-end 4K performance. Because the GTX 1060 should be outperforming a 980, with a pair of them in SLI that would have potentially put it faster than a GTX 1080. And with the price point we're looking at between $250 and $300, with a pair of those you're looking at about $100 less than a 1080 for better performance and Nvidia aren't going to be wanting to cannibalise their sales. With that said though, we would always recommend going for the best single GPU you can afford over the vagaries of multi-GPU gaming. But why not give people the choice, Nvidia? The rumours are that the 1060 launch was actually brought forward because of the release of the AMD RX 480 and how well that was performing in benchmarks. So Nvidia have brought out the GTX 1060 as a direct competitor for the RX 480, hoping to beat it into submission. So what do you guys think? Anybody interested in upgrading to the latest mid-range Pascal card? Tell us what you think in the comments and hit us up with a subscribe if you want to see more hardware videos in the future.